Some men are just lying, manipulating, no good, good for nothing, horrible people looking to take advantage of you. And the reality is that I do not want you getting caught up with that kind of man. So I'm going to help you by letting you know the five behaviors of a man who lies. Hey, my name is Stefan Labossier, a.k.a. Stefan Speaks, back with another relationship and dating advice video for women. Like I said, I'm going to be laying out for you the five behaviors of a man who lies. Again, as before we get started, be sure to like this video, share it, subscribe to this channel, and listen, leave your feedback below. Let, give us some things that you've seen, a uh, constant pattern in men who lie. Now, again, let me make this very clear as always. Every man is not a liar. Well, let me backtrack that. Every person on the face of this earth has told a lie, all right? If you're honest with yourself, all right, you've done it at least once in your life. I'm not saying that it, it may have been as bad as some others, but a lie is a lie. I think everyone has done it at least once. But this video isn't about the average person who may lie here and there, which I'm not validating or approving. I'm just saying that's what happens. This is about the, the, the pattern of behavior, the, the constant lying, the constant manipulating, the man who has bad intentions, who has no desire to give you clarity and peace and be transparent with you. He's simply trying to play you. So there are consistent behaviors that these men tend to have that I want you to be aware of. And of course, there's a bonus thing I need you to hear at the very end that's extremely important. All right. So now let's get to it. Number one behavior of a man who lies is he can't tell the same story twice. So here's the thing. People who lie tend to be inconsistent when they're telling their lie. Now, don't get me wrong. Some people out there are very good liars and they get their story straight so that if they have to repeat it, they don't have any, any uh, uh, deviances from what they said. However, a lot of people are not great liars. A lot of people cannot keep up with the story they told. So when you ask them more than once, there's going to be variations in their story. Now, I don't want to sit here and say the minute, the second a man gives you a variation in the story, that he is automatically some horrible manipulating liar. I am saying it's a red flag. And if you follow my videos, then you know red flags are things to follow up on, to, are things to address, not to just cut them off and run. Let's dig a little deeper. We have to also take a, a full picture. If, if this man has been awesome in every way and he doesn't exhibit any of the other behaviors I'm about to list, because typically liars will exist at least two or more of these behaviors. But if he doesn't, ex ex uh, if, if he doesn't engage in any of these other behaviors, then it is very possible that this is just you know, uh, an isolated incident. Maybe he forgot a certain detail that he remembered the second time. Possible. But again, pay attention to their ability to be consistent with their story. Now, I don't want you to ask them five times because then that looks really bad. But there's nothing wrong with bringing it back up. And, and as a woman, you're aware. You're very aware to the details. So I know you're going to be able to catch it if it happens. You just have to take an initiative to maybe ask a second time to regain clarity, but to see can the story stay the same. And let me add kind of a 1B to this. Not only can they not tell the same story twice, they lie about the little things, all right? A lot of people, again, there are people who tell these quote-unquote white lies, and they validate it by it being a quote-unquote white lie. However, there are individuals who lie for no reason. Like, they're just lying about stuff that there was no purpose in even lying. Like, it wasn't even like it was going to be a big deal. There was no concern. There was no need to, to give a false narrative. Yet, they still did it. And there's a consistent pattern of that. That shows someone who may be a habitual liar. All right? And for some reason, they just feel the need to create a story. Again, you got to find out, you got to address that red flag because that is an issue and that is a behavior of a man who lies a lot. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here and I'll see you there. And now we get to number nine, but I do have a bonus. All right. You know, I got to throw a bonus in there sometimes. But number nine, and this is kind of just a big general one. 
His words and actions do not line 